the time my crew and I were stifled by the stench from a popping, popping primate versus being blown from the water by a supersonic fish belch. Which of these moments from Deadly Six do you think is going to win our Deadly Showdown? My name's Steve Batchel, and in this new series, I'm going to be pitting some of the most memorable, iconic, scariest, most frightening and funny moments of Deadly off against each other. This is Deadly Showdown's Battle of the Bad Manners. First up, it's the gorilla. I've been lucky enough to work with mountain gorillas many times over the years. They are a seriously threatened animal. There may be as few as a thousand of them left in the wild. And as one of our closest relatives, there's so much about their behavior that you see and you relate to things that we do. Some things that we do, not all of them. We spent hours trekking up into the high mountains to try and find our gorillas. So what you're looking for essentially is to try and find the silverback. The silverback is the dominant male. He's the biggest animal there and he has this silvery grizzling around his lower back which signifies that he's the one that's in charge. But there are also several other males who are not the top dog but they have got a little bit of attitude. Those are called the blackbacks. So they've got a little way to go before they're going to get fully mature. So I started doing lots of pieces to camera about how threatened gorillas are and about how immensely emotional I felt working alongside them. When all of a sudden, one of the other blackback gorillas decided that he didn't like what I was saying. He decided to start heckling. And he started heckling me with his backside. As you would expect from an animal that pretty much feeds on cabbage all day, every day, the smell was extraordinary. In a lifetime working with animals, I've been roared at by lions, spat at by llamas, smashed with the tail by a blue whale, but nothing compares to being totally trumped at by a gorilla's backside. Contender number two. Last but not least is the mighty mouth of the Goliath of legend, and the Cuban reefs are its stalking and hunting grounds. So we've been diving with a particular kind of shark called a silky shark, and as so often happens on Deadly, we came across an animal that we weren't planning to see, but had to make it onto our Deadly list, the Goliath grouper. So we were down on the bottom and we kind of figured, well, what are we going to do? You know, we've got to show this animal at its deadly best. Well, let's feed it some fish. And it's going to be really cool if I manage to keep all my fingers. Here he comes. He's coming in. Holy moly! That is out of this world! First time round, I totally wasn't expecting it, and it sucked not just the fish, but my whole hand into its massive mouth. It didn't do me any damage, but it certainly gave me a shock. And we figured, well, if it can take in that sort of size, we know that they feed on great big lobsters. Let's try feeding it one of those. So yes, the Goliath grouper is a fierce feeder down on the coral reefs, but what I think is the thing that makes it most deadly is its defense mechanism. So when a shark got too close coming in over its shoulder, out of nowhere, this grouper went Bruh! and let off this phenomenal aquatic belch. 
and you feel it through the water like a sonic boom. It resounds through your whole body, through every airspace in your body. Just hanging over the top of the reef. You think, did you hear that? These fish have the ability to twang their swim bladder. It's an organ that regulates buoyancy and it sends a sharp sound out into the water. Oh, crikey. Which is very much a warning, a threat to other fish or to me. And you can feel it, it hits you right in the chest. So, who would you choose if it was down to you? Well, because this is my show and I get to choose, I'm going to go for the gorilla because I can't think of anything that has caused me and my crew to collapse in hysterics for longer than that gorilla just parping away. So yes, my battle of the bad manners goes to the brilliant black bat gorilla. Well, that's it for this deadly showdown, but there's plenty more on BBC Earth Kids, so don't forget to subscribe. There's also lots, lots more deadly content on there, and I will see you next time. Bye.